Stop making other people problems, your problems, while you working on your problem. We got to work on us, family. We got to work on us. There will always be people with issues, always. You would never get nothing done in your personal life if you take on everybody's problem, everybody's issue, everybody's uh, situation. We got to focus on us, family. We got to focus on our stuff in order to help someone properly. And then when you help them, you have to, you have to distribute it in a way where you making sure that it's helping the need because there's always going to be needy people. It is what it is. You know, Christ said that the poor would always be with us. But right now we got a mission. We helping people as we go. But we can't sit here and just focus on one group of people. When we got the world, we're trying to help. When we got uh, our race, we're trying to help. When we're trying to change our family's uh, um, generational wealth and break some curses. We can't focus on everybody's issues, but we can still help everybody. We can help people, but without putting ourselves in a bind. But if you are in a situation, family, let me say this. If you don't have yourself together, you shouldn't be helping nobody. You need to be helping you. Self-preservation is key. How are you going to help somebody and you in the bind? I'm going to give you my last dollar and then I'm going to go home and starve. No, it don't work like that, family. Certain people you share certain with, but certain people you say, hey, I got, I got to just look out for me right now. And that's not selfish, family, that you looking out for you. I can't depend on nobody, family. I don't have no family member that I can call to this damn day. Hey, I'm in a bind right now. I need a little assistance. I got you. Even though they know I'm going to get us. I ain't got nobody I can call like that. I don't even call nobody like that. I don't even do it. I figure it out. Because I know that this is my life. Just like my mama told me when I went to prison. I made that bed, fam. I get what she said. She said, look, y'all, I'm going to be here for you. You doing time, I got to do time too. You my baby. But you got to do that time right there yourself. You got to go in there and do that 10, 11 years yourself. You did that. And I had to do it, family. And with all the BS that came with it, I had to go through that because I did that. But when I woke up, like the prodigal son, he was inside of the swine pit. He eaten with the hogs, fam, when he woke up. He said he came to himself. Man, I can go home. Servants are living better than I am. Surely, I can go home and just be a servant to my dad. I know I messed up. I know I disrespect. Surely, I can just be a servant and do better than what I'm doing. And when he finally went back, his father greeted him, threw a party for him, a celebration. My son is back. But see, sometimes we don't see things the way they really are, fam. You know, we'll look at our situation like there is no other problem outside of that our problem. And I get it, but there is. And if a person give, like if I give you my all and you mess that up too, that means me giving you possessions is not going to help you. You need some mental things. You need some prayer. You need some spiritual growth. You need some education. You need some, some illiteracy. It's some things you're going to have to learn. But if I just give you possessions, you're going to keep doing what you've been doing with the possessions. And you're going to do to my possessions just like you're doing with your possessions. Fucking them off. So family, this rising family, I'm only been because we got to break this curse. We got to focus on us. Self-preservation. I can't help nobody if I'm messed up. I can't encourage nobody if I'm broken. I can't feed nobody if I'm hungry. Come on, family. That's why I get my hog on, fam. Because I got to lead by example. And I got to depend on my steam. I got to depend on every day that God give me life and breath to wake up that I got to do something with it. And surely we're going to make mistakes along the way, fam. But it's okay to make mistakes. We're going to fail. We're going to do. Just say, hey, my bad. Ain't nothing wrong with apologizing. I'm not saying I was perfect. But I'm just saying I got to get my hog on, fam. I don't know how long I got, so I can't depend on nobody else. And I can't take up everybody's problem when I got one too, fam. But I'm willing to talk to you. We can talk to one another through our problems. We can help one another out, but we got to be reasonable. We got to be willing to listen to reason. 
we got the bureau say, say hey if you've been running your head against that wall surely that's not no damn door let's try this out we got to be willing to switch it up we got to be humble and say hey you know i don't know but maybe we can come together and we can figure something out but we got to stop picking up everybody's problems and we're not fixing our own hog on